Good evening Transformer fans. Tonight we're taking a look at the new Legacy Metal Hawk. And here he is in his robot mode. Got some nice gold on the chest there. We got the accessories with the guns. He also comes with a sword that you can plug into the back like so. And let's put that in his hand. He can hold it just fine. Wields a sword, takes down the Decepticons, etc, etc. So let's talk about the robot mode a little bit. I'm going to put his accessories aside so we can go ahead and just take a look at him. We'll get, uh, we'll show off some features of the accessories when we get into the alt mode. I gotta set some stuff aside here, excuse me. All right, there we go. Okay, so here he is. This is obviously a retool of Cyclonus, so I'm actually gonna bring in Kingdom Cyclonus, just real fast so we can take a look at that. And there you go. You can clearly see the arms are the same, the legs are a little different. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. There's like, there's different, let's, let's look at it. There's different in the torso, the knees are different, the arms are almost, well, the shoulders are exact. The forearms are a little different. Uh, we got the same fold back feature for the wings. The head obviously is a new sculpt and the little turbines or whatever right there, that's new. But not too shabby, not too shabby at all. So let's set Cyclonus aside. Let's go into articulation. So we've got universals at the shoulders. We got plenty of movement. We got uh, about a 90 at the elbow, an upper elbow swivel, nothing at the wrist, but it does fold in like this. So the head is on a ball joint. You can get a pretty decent range of motion. Good bit, well, let me get that a little bit centered. There we go. Good bit down, not a lot up. Uh, side to side. Not really confused Metal Hawk, but sort of. Just a little. Like, he's not too confused, he's just, what? Okay, then you got waist swivel, you got the full 360, yep, he can go 360, cool. We got universals at the legs that get you out to here, up to here, back to there. We've got the knee joint, the knee joint, and uh, even on Cyclonus it's a little weird, but the knee joint there, and I think it's meant to be more like this. So that's just, that was an interesting choice to me, but whatever. So there we go. Uh, it's, let's see, I don't know if it's really a gripe because it's well done, but it's just, I don't know, it's a little weird to me, but whatever. We got the upper thigh swivel. That's really tight. Okay, upper thigh swivel uh, out like this, but doesn't seem to want to go back like that. There we go. He's got his knee, that weird joint, and then we've got pretty decent ankle rocker. A uh, lot up, nothing down. All right, so let's transform this guy, right? Well, I say that. Before we do, let's get some uh, size comparisons in here. You already seen him with Kingdom Cyclonus. I want to bring in, we got his little pretender shell buddy right there, that was pretty neat. So let's open that up, get out a little Titan Master if I can get my fingers around it, got that, and then there's the headstock there. Now I may actually be making a kit to where you can put this on this figure and have the head like so. I don't think that's too bad proportional. I may do that. I'm thinking about it. I might do it. I'm going to bring in his Titan's Return counterpart. After I put the head on there. I'm going to bring in the Titan's Return counterpart. So there he is with pretty rough uh, standard deluxe figure. So kind of a tall guy. There he is with his counterpart. Uh, that was from the like uh, 
listening to Chaos on Velocitron or whatever. But Titans Return Metal Hawk with the new Legacy Metal Hawk. There we go. Now, let's get into transformation. So, first thing, let's go ahead and fold up these wrists. Uh, very similar to Cyclonus for this kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and it'll that little tab will tab into the forearm there like so let's do the same thing on the other side up over tab that in okay uh, back he opens up let's see if I'm doing this right yeah so we're gonna open him up chest opens up like this okay then the back, we're gonna get, the, oh, you gotta untab the arms, all right, untab the shoulders there, and then, there we go. Ow, sorry. All right, untab the shoulders, then the back will untab like this. That'll allow you to bring out, swing the head in like this, and then you can pop that over until it clicks into place like so. Then you're gonna wanna fold this back, and you're going to want to fold the chest back up, making sure that everything gets all properly aligned. Oh, whoops. Okay. So that's got to be like this. And then you see that little hook right there? That's got a tab like that and sit flush. Okay. So then, yeah, this is going to go over like so. Let's get our arms out of the way because I'm kind of doing that. All right. There we go. And this slot goes into that tab right there. And does it have that yet? Yeah, like you got to roll this down kind of a little. See how I did that? Like this. And then it's like this. And then you got to kind of roll it down like so and get everything in the pocket and of course as you might have guessed we're going to work on the the legs next and for the legs it's the same thing for the uh kingdom cyclonus where is it it is there it is you bring that up bring that out bring the foot like so bring it back down click it into place so open the back of the shin up like this, like this, down, pop. Okay, and then you will collapse the leg, and that gray tab, slot into there. Ah, okay. So, probably best, you see that tab will go there. I'm sorry, it's, I'm not at my best. It's really late when I'm doing this, so I apologize. And I think I'm starting to get sick, my throat's starting to feel sore, so I apologize. Alright, let's collapse the legs down like this. And of course, let's get that back in the pocket on the wings there. Alright, so there is the, the uh, jet mode. But as you can see, the back, of the, the back looks a little bare. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this here, and you see these two slots right there they're gonna go into that right here. So it's gonna go like this and like this. And that kinda that fills up the back a little bit. And if you want weapon storage for the sword, as you've seen, it's the same thing. Uh, you can either do it these two slots right here or you can do it that peg right there. Whichever preference that you like Let's do that. Let's see how it looks like this. And you got a little bit of the sword sticking out of the back there. So it's just whatever preference you like. I'm going to go with that. All right. There we go. There's jet mode like so. Pretty cool. That's how he looked in the original uh, Master Force cartoon. I like it. It's a pretty, pretty decent sized figure. There he is from the bottom. Um, I forget 
I don't think this guy has landing gear. I might be wrong about that. I don't... I don't recall. Any, any of this? So, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any landing gear. But that's okay. Still like the jet, it's pretty cool. I've heard some complaints about the gray plastic. I mean, it does look a little dull, but it doesn't bother me, you know? I think it's all right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review. That is the review for the new Legacy Metal Hawk. Again, guys, I'm sorry I'm not at my best tonight. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I apologize. But, uh, pretty nice figure. I like the red. The blue is pretty good. Uh, don't mind the gray. I mean, it's fine. That's I like this uh, kind of flat yellow thing. It's actually not that bad. But there you go, guys. That is a review for Legacy Metal Hawk. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll try to be better for next time. <laughs> All right. Have a good night.